Hello everyone, welcome to lab video number two. This is largely a technology demonstrator, so don't expect anything too exciting. We're going to begin by soldering an 0402 passive component using hot air. So obviously if you're doing this correctly when you're assembling the board, you're just going to be using a stencil, but for rework we don't always have that option. So I like to put a little bit of solder paste on the end of a scalpel blade and just kind of dab it onto the pads. This takes a little bit of practice. If you get too much on there, like I got there, just scrape it off. Cut off a little blob. And then just kind of scrape it where it needs to go. You can get special rework stencils for single parts, but in tight spots, that's usually not an option. So we're going to pretend we can't do that. So now, just like if you're assembling the board normally, pick it up, place the part. That looks pretty good. And now all we have to do is turn on the hot air and go for it. up a little bit. And there we go. We've got the first part. Now we'll just give it a few seconds to cool off and get started on the second one. So the second one is going to be hand soldered. For this, let's get our iron pinned. Turn it off. And then we're just going to put a little bit of solder on one of the pads. It doesn't matter which one. There we go. And we're going to add a bit of flux. doesn't look like it's spread out quite enough. This is pretty typical if you've had the solder on the iron for more than a few seconds. The flux in the solder is going to have burned off, so we have to add some of our own. There it goes. Better. This is a pretty common problem having the Part stick to your tweezers if you get flux on them, not a big deal, just knock it off. And so now what we do is heat up one side and push the part into the solder, let it cool. That looks good. And then we can repeat for the other side. We don't need tweezers because it's held in place by the first solder joint. There's a little bit of extra solder on there. I'm going to clean off. Add a little bit more flux. We go and if you get too much solder on the joint you can just remove it with the tip of the iron and that's good pinch up that joint too and we are done just need 
to clean it up a little bit. So for this, just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, wipe off any extra flux. This is no clean flux, it is safe to leave on the board, but it's a little bit nicer looking if we get rid of it. It's easier to see any defects, and more importantly, it won't attract dust, which gets in the way if we're trying to do rework in the future. So, there we go. That's all for today.